हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू अनदर एक्साइटिंग एपिसोड ऑफ बी टू बी क्रॉनिकल्स योर गो टू द प्लेस वेर वी टॉक अबाउट हाउ बी टू बी वर्ड इज शेपिंग अप टूडे वी आर कमिंग अप विद वेरी एक्साइटिंग टॉपिक द वर्ड ऑफ आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस ए आई लेट्स डाइव राइट डीपर इन टू इट वॉट इज ए आई हाउ ए आई कैन help you is it your enemy or is it your friend there are a lot of questions i'm pretty sure everybody is talking about ai but not sure what ai is going to do what you need to do with an ai so let's get started what is ai artificial intelligence it has been around for more than 5 decades but it didn't really kick off for general uses and expanded until very recently maybe 10 years back we all know sam altman who was president of y combinator they were funding lot of startups and helping them scale up sam and altman along with other people founded this company open ai and they developed this large language models as they are called llms and one of these llms apps which possibly many of you might be using is chat gpt chat gpt is one manifestation of how ai can be used in your daily life as well so ai is almost like electricity think about the word before electricity after the innovation of electricity it transformed everything in every space the way you are transported electricity changed it the way your whole daily routine is made up the time you wake up the time you sleep with the electricity everything changed it was a huge enabler for the people similarly ai is that technology innovation that's going to touch your life from a to b from start to end so we had supercomputers earlier also they had huge supercomputing power as well so we have this data and these computers were analyzing this data in a very complex way with very complex codes but they were not intelligent they were not able to learn from these data on their own and that's where ai is making the difference ai enabled technologies are not only looking at this data analyzing this data but it is building intelligence from these data and as you feed more and more data into it they are learning and becoming better and better and mind you like humans we have to take sleep we have to take rest we have to do so many things but these are machines they won't stop they will be learning 24 by 7 so they are learning very very fast and as you build huge data centers huge computers and everywhere there is data every time you open a mobile you work on an app you go from one place to another place you are feeding data into these systems and these systems are analyzing this data learning from it you know making so many sense out of it building intelligence so no wonder ai is changing everything and it's going to impact you whether you like it or not it's going to impact you if ai is going to do so much and if it is going to have so much power then you know certainly we need to be worried that what's going to happen to your jobs will there be any jobs for humans because if these machines are becoming so smart in if then they can do so much of these things then what human beings can do and certainly you know these fears are very legitimate many people are thinking about it governments are thinking about it there are regulations not only just in the positive way but if this ai can be used in it fit gets into the hands of terrorist you can imagine how they can really ruin the whole system so 
how the AI can be safeguarded. All these aspects are there and there are people in the government, in the business world, you know, people from intelligentsia, from the academic world, they are all thinking about it and coming out with solutions. But you and me, the regular guys, how do we adapt? How do we look at AI? So let me tell you my story that how I started using AI. When you want to use, make use of any technology, you have to start working on it. So I downloaded this chat GPT app on my mobile. I named it Mintu so that my wife also get teased by it because her name is also Mintu, Mintesh. Well, uh, jokes apart, once you start using this technology, then you understand the power of this technology. Let me tell you how I am using this chat GPT so that I can work better and I am able to perform better. First, it became my ideation partner. When I say ideation partner means if I have to think through something, then this becomes my brainstorming consultant, my partner. I collaborate with ChatGPT Mintu. Here, if you think about it, you can use this prompt engineering where you can guide this app and tell them that what exactly you need to do. So for example, I can ask ChatGPT to take the role of a McKenzie consultant. Now with all the data, the LLMs and all the intelligence that is built into it, it will behave like a Mac McKenzie consultant. So now you will get a perspective of McKenzie consultant right at your mobile app. I also use ChatGPT for the second purpose that is my research assistant. If I want to learn something, if I want to really get some research done, you will be amazed that now I don't use Google anymore. I have any questions, I ask ChatGPT, I don't ask Google anymore. And the quality of response is very, very good. You know, it really looks into all these data which is there and it gives you research output based on the context that you are giving. So the search uh, part of it, research part of it, you know, that's where I'm using ChatGPT, which you can also consider. Third, the last one is execution support. If I want to write something on LinkedIn and this podcast itself, or if I want to have some email to some customers, to my partners, to my employees, where you really have to, you know, do the execution, you know, your personal assistant. That's where chat GPT is very good. So that's the three ways that I talked about where I use chat GPT. What are the ways that you are using chat GPT? If you have something to add on this, please do write in the comment section. And while we are at it, Please do like, share and subscribe this podcast if you find it useful.